Folks, welcome to part 34A of Alpha Sapphire. No sinners, no marts. Uh, if you sort of tuned out at the end of the last video, if you're wondering why this is part A, uh, we're going to have two endings to this run. The first is going to be with Kyogre, the second is going to be without Kyogre, and they're going up in parallel because I thought that would be funny. Anyway, so let's go over here. We left off last time right in front of what I believe to, anyway, uh, be Kyogre. So let's go and get and confront the big evil whale that's trying to destroy the world, apparently. Oh, okay, we suddenly get into our uh, magic awesome suit. Yeah! Okay. Fitted the suit with the red orb. Oh snap, we got like legit like Power Rangers is happening right now. He doesn't look so big. Oh, apparently we have a communicator. Beep, 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 beep. Oh snap, then lit. How about I throw a master ball at it right now? Um, I'm just calmly on riding on Kyogre's back. However, it does not seem very big. See, I was hoping this would be, like, Digimon Season 1, where Joe jumps on Unimon's back and is trying to wrestle the Black Gear out and then go on Digimon for the first time. It was awesome. But no, we're just kind of calmly riding on Kyogre's back here. And... Where in the world are we? Oh, yeah, something about, like, Hoenn's core or something. Are we, like, in the, in the middle, in the center of the planet or something? Oh, okay, we took the suit off, because that's a good idea. Um, there's... Yeah, none of the... No bottom screen features for us here, guys. Oh well, too bad. Um, that's good, because we weren't using them anyway. Uh, we still have... We can still check our party and everything. What is this? What? Oh, now it's back, though. But We need to go and confront Kyogre right now. Alright, Kyogre. Ah! He's a cute little whale. He's a cute little whale. Have you seen his little bitty teeth? Oh, that sounds like a Kyogre battle theme. Oh, and we have morphed into not chibi mode, which usually means something awesome is about to go down. I think Kyogre became a really big whale. He's no longer a cute little whale, he's a really big whale. Which I, I thought this was about how big Kyogre was normally. But I'm hungry. Kyogre appeared. Oh man, we have a swallow. Primordial Sea. Yeah, that's pretty much describes what is about to be happening here. Um, but this is why we have this. Unless it doesn't work for reasons. Uh, looks like it is gonna work. So, so Archie, you know all that stuff with the uh, oh, let's let's use Kyogre to destroy. The, no, no, okay, he's, he's free. He's, he's gonna destroy the world. Let's throw a Master Ball at it. 
Uh, you had the Master Ball in your HQ, Archie. You could have done this yourself. Alright, here's Kyogre. Does it log in the primal form? It does not. Which is mildly surprising. Can we see other modes? Touch the things. Next. Uh, yes, yeah, so we were going to nickname Kyogre. And for those of you who may not know, Kyogre's Japanese name. It was, it's still pretty much Kyogre, uh, but it's Kyoga, the long, long O sound. Uh, is it going to show the name? Uh, we should probably do it ourselves. So, since the name starts out with Kayo, let's go with Michiru. And because we caught it with full HP and PP and everything, we are uh, we are of course free to use it, even though uh, it's going into PC. So momentarily, we will be withdrawing Kyogre as soon as I get access to a PC. And the cave's collapsing apparently. What the carp? Oh, hey. And then green sparkles. See, when I saw the green laser beam, I was like, oh, that's Rayquaza, because it's green. Was that a shuttle launch from Moss Deep that we kind of saw right there? Very fleetingly. Uh, why is there a mega stone right there? There was to totally a mega stone right there that I guess we'll go fly and grab. Even though I don't think any of the rest of our party can mega evolve. That looks like Evergrande City. Oh, hey, Wally. You're already, already over there, huh? We will be taking on Wally in a couple parts from now. So yeah, the Master Ball solves most most problems that involve things. Oh, that looks like not an Aqua Grunt. She is not tan enough. Hmm. But we probably will not be finding out about her uh, in this part of the game. If I do any post game, I'm gonna do it on the. Uh, the B side, so we'll be under under this. Hi, Brendan. Don't free heal. No free. Nobody give a free heal, please. Oh, okay. There was some weird sound, and apparently it was from the game. And then Team Aqua went off to become one of those organizations that stops uh, Greenpeace. Then Team Aqua went off to become Greenpeace. That's basically what should probably happen.
Well, we have a Kyogre now, so... Ah! Okay, well, we can already fly to whatever route, so... But, of course, the nice thing is you don't have to have someone in your party with fly, so... That's cool. And we'll see Steven again in a couple parts, probably. Hopefully, though, we won't see Brendan in, for the rest of the game. And also, people have pointed out to me that Brendan's backpack is kind of vaguely reminiscent of the Koopa Shell. So that makes me forgive being stuck with his character model just a little bit. Anyway, go away, Brendan. Go away. Yes, go away forever. I never want to see you again. We'll probably have to see Wally again, but at least Wally has never offended me by giving me a free heal. So... Okay, so... Let me fix the camera because it's uh, a little too much. Anyway, so as for what else we're going to do this video, uh, I've heard possibles. Uh, let's see, first we need to go and acquire... Let's see, well we need to make sure we've done everything with um, Linoon. Actually Linoon has full everything, so we can technically bring him back out, but once we bring Kyogre in, we're going to be using Kyogre. So uh, before we actually go grab Kyogre, um, we're going to fly over to Marvel City. And I think we're going to go and try to do New Marvel in this part because I would like to acquire a Thunderbolt TM. Uh, well, or at least we're going to see if it's opened up. Hopefully it has. Uh, Watson. Yes! Watson, good. Spoilers that I read several parts ago when we were trying to get Magnemite were not incorrect. Yeah, yeah. Oh, okay. Okay, I'll try to figure out how to get there. Hopefully we'll succeed. And also, I... Where's the elevator? Okay, maybe it's at the edge? Um, also... Uh, I'm not sure... 100% sure. Okay, here's the elevator. Uh, okay. Second floor, I guess. So yeah, apparently this is a big like apartment complex up in here. Uh, anyway, uh, we need... let's go in all the houses and look for treasures. No one's gonna free heal me, right? This is in a town. Oh. Okay, so here's the who got the downcast ribbon? I guess Hirong Bell did. Uh, uh, everyone get, got the downcast ribbon. Cool. Uh, so that's that. That's the uh, the daily ribbon girl, I guess. You get a a free ribbon every day. Affection for half. Uh, okay. I'm guessing that measures Pokemon and me, because it was affection as opposed to happiness. So new places. I'm gonna see if anyone wants to give me some good stuff. Negative. Oh, there's actually someone. I thought that was a mirror. So what did this person say? The rotation front. That looked like a picture of the prism tower. From way too big city. As I like to call it. Where is Watson's house? It would be cool if you could actually like get an apartment in here. I mean, secret base, but you know. Oh, well, good for you. Where's Watson's? 
Ice cream lover's house. We like ice cream. Cardi! Cardi! Is Cardi in here? Oh, there's a balcony. Is Cardi? Where's Cardi? 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 The ghost of Cardi? Do you have a Cardi? No, you don't. Probably cannot catch Cardi in this game. Cardi, if you guys don't know or remember, is my beloved Vanillish from my White Blaine Nuzlocke, who met with a terrible fate at the hands of my least favorite Pokemon, Substrika. Alright, so yeah, that's what we're going to do this video, is go do New Mauville. Since, thankfully, the... Uh, <laughs> my goodness, there's, there's some, like, sour stuff. Dope. There's like a lot of stuff in this game that's just like the sad realities of adulthood like, on display. Are we, are we sure this game is for kids? I mean... Are we absolutely sure that this game is for kids? Oh, let's get on the bike. Alright, so we're headed towards New Ma not C Mauville. On C Mauville, New Mauville, there was some also some like very adult stuff going on at C Mauville as well. Uh, we are going to New Mauville, and uh, Magneton will slow down a little bit if he evolves, but I think the extra bulk is going to be worth it. So I'm pretty all right. Doing that. We could have dropped just flown here, but whatever. It's not like anyone could just, you know, jump over the door. Oh, goodness. All right, make sure we have your own delta in front of the party. We do, because we want to be able to run from anything and everything here. Uh, although, I suppose we do need to level up Magneton in order to get a ball. So, that's a minor problem. Uh, let me see how high level Magneton is. Not with rare candies. I may, in fact, use a rare candy. I, I assume that'll work. Or not how high level he is, but how close he is. Eh, he's a pretty far piece from leveling up. Um, and, yeah, this is gonna be, this is gonna be a thing. Uh, I think I may just rare candy. Uh, I'll hold off until the end. But uh, I'll probably... And actually... I wonder if we could have already had Magnazone, because even standing right here is technically New Mauville. So we could have probably already had Magnazone. But I didn't really think about it. I don't know, maybe it's only the lower levels. There is Magnemite. And the really dumb thing is that it's not actually, like, I, I believe this is the earliest we could access inside here, unless you can actually encounter stuff in that first little area, which may be possible. I didn't think to actually uh, give it a try, mostly because in the original game, in, in before, uh, there was an actual door, but in here it's like the same area, so I don't know. That would be something that uh, is worth testing, I guess, and I would feel like a bit of an idiot if we went through all the stuff with the catching an Oddish in order to use Sweet Scent in order to find a Magnemite. Uh, there's a Thunderstone that we're not going to need. And I'm just going to pick everything up. We have a Swallow so we can run from any Voltorbs or Electrodes. Uh, Electrode is technically higher base speed, but we're going to be much higher level. So we should be good to go. 
So we're putting in the work, letting us run from everything. So good. Uh, here's a door. Maybe not. Wild fights, though. Yeah, so this place is basically, basically a power plant. Um, where is it you? I'm trying to think where it is you actually evolve. Magnemite or Magna into Magnazone and Probo Pass in HGSS. If you even can. I'm not sure if you even can. Hmm. I know it's Charmstone Cave and Unova, and it's the the awful, terrible desert route in Kalos. I would imagine if they ever remade Gen 1, it would probably just straight up be the power plant. So. Oh wait, they already remade Gen 1. Well, if they remake the remake of Gen 1, because, you know, everyone wants Blazing Fire Rat and Verdant Leaf Green, right? I mean, I say that jokingly, but you know what would actually sell. So... Level 25. So why couldn't I catch my Magnite at level 25? He'd actually be, like, almost on par with the party. Uh, sure I do? Why are we supposed to like turn off a machine? Is the point here? Oh, Voltorb. Still, I'd rather see Voltorb than Fungus or Amoongus. Alright, Ultra Ball. You know, if it's an actual Pokeball, couldn't they just make it look like a. Oh, there's a Mega Stone. How about that? Uh, I'm gonna guess Ampharosite again. I'm pretty sure there are not actually any Megas uh, in this game that were not revealed pre-release, so... Eh. Yeah! I'm right this time. And a Metal Coat. That's convenient. Uh, that will at least be useful for... Increasing the damage output from uh, Splash Cannon. Although I would definitely prefer a Magnet or Zap Plate, I think. Since, uh, yeah, this, this, this game is full of water types. So is there no new field? Push the button. There's like other doors. I'm supposed to like push buttons to unlock the doors? I don't understand. This looks like a lift, except apparently not. I mean, see, there's this here, but, like, it's blocked off. But I feel like we should go down there. Uh, anyway. So, I don't think we're going to be able to reasonably level Magnemite off this stuff, so... Or Magneton off this stuff. So I'm just going to rare candy right here. Um, we do have quite a few rare candies. Uh, we have six rare candies. That's decent. Um, so I'm going to throw one onto Magneton. And he better evolve from this. Thank you. Okay, good. <laughs> Otherwise I wasted a rare candy that's probably going to get used on Kyogre a little bit later on. So cool. So we get Magnezone. We do lose a little bit of speed, which could actually, because he's kind of got middling speed, uh, could actually mean we get outsped by a lot of things. Uh, however, I think it's probably worth it. We get a little bit more special attack, and we definitely get some more bulk. So, so there we go. So we get we get Trut K evolved fully, and that's something we would not have access to in the original game. But uh, a little bit more oomph behind Discharge and whatnot. So even though we probably in this line of playing will not use Magnezone very much. I thought I saw something glowing right here. Oh well. Stop with the wild encounters. It's not necessary. It's really not necessary. So as well, during the during the uh, fallout from catching Kyogre, we also saw there's apparently a Megastone 
back in the starting city, Little Root Town. So I'm kind of interested in going back and seeing what that was. Um, did we already get Absolites? I don't remember if we already got Absolites. I just feel like that would be... I'm thinking Absolites. Oh, okay. Wait, this is this is Sapphire, so this is the second build. So why are we getting the X? Oh, so there's Mewtwo Night X. Uh, maybe they're both available in this game. I don't know. Uh, so let's fly back to Marble City. And hopefully that was all we need to do. I didn't actually read directions very well because I played this game 10 years ago. 12 years ago, however long it was. 10, 11, whatever. Played this game before. So now let's go back up the elevator. That's just really creepy that the elevator is expecting you. The elevators should not expect you. It's weird. Anyway, so let's go back to Watson's room. Can we bike up here? Yeah! Uh, I think it was this one. Did I do good? There we go. Alright, so we get T-Bolt. Alright, so that pretty much, uh, that is pretty much that. So, uh, let's get out of here in the quickest way that we can. Which is going to involve taking an elevator, I suppose. <laughs> These creepy elevators. It's, all, there, there, also, there are no stairs up here, so, like, if the power went out, you would just be stuck on the second floor. Like, too bad. Sucks to be you. Alright, this is the quickest way to daylight. And let's see where we want to go from here. Let's fly. Fly up to Fall Arbor Town. Because we need to use a PC. Not to use the move here, but to use a PC. And as you know, we don't like to go on Pokemon Centers. Not strictly forbidden, but hey, we can access PCs in places besides Pokemon Centers, so let's do that. Alright. Plus these PCs are like this lovely violet color. Much better. Alright, so what we're, gonna, what we're gonna do here, so here's our Kyogre, it is, that's actually not a bad Kyogre nature. Nice. And you do come with a, you do come with Ice Beam, awesome. So that means I'll, that means I have Ice Beam free to teach the Swampert then. Cool. Alright, so what we're gonna be doing is getting rid, basically, of our Linoon that we've been using for the entire game. Uh, I can take him out freely if I want to, because he's got full everything. So that's not a concern. Uh, but I don't think we're going to be needing him again. Let's just switch him out to here. And we're going to take out Kyogre. So Kyogre comes... What does he come with? She come with. It's Michiru. Um, look at Kyogre just being obnoxious and just covering up Ice Beam. So rude. Alright, so uh, he has the, uh, his new move, which is Origin Pulse. Which is basically just a prettier Hydro Pump. You know, go figure. Groudon, I think, gets what like uh, a physical ground move. Is it ground? Is it ground or rock? Because it's precipice blaze, which sounds like it would be rock, but I think it's actually ground. Um, so yeah, uh, Groudon's I believe is 120 power or so I hear. Um, Kyogre, eh, nah, it's just uh, it's 120 because you know we, we decided in this gen we wanted to nerf all the special moves and make them all. Uh, Make them all be 110 and 90 instead of 120 and 95. So that's a thing. And uh, Kyogre's Origin Pulse is... Yeah, I feel like this was the game that um, they decided, you know what, Groudon has been really bad compared to Kyogre for like the entirety of Pokemon. So let's give Groudon all the good stuff now and just give Kyogre the shaft. Because Kyogre, you've been good for like ever. So uh, Anyway, so he comes with... Uh, Body Slam, Aqua Ring, I think it was Calm Mind in the original, and Origin Pulse. So Origin Pulse does have uh, 10 PP though, so that's pretty useful. Uh, but what we're going to do is make some edits. So as you guys remember, uh, as you know, 
we only use TMs once, that's the rules of the game. So we, are, we don't have to use break uh, we don't have to use uh, that ice beam. So we're free to use that on Swampert. I'll hold off on that for right now. Uh, but we are gonna teach T Bolt to Kyogre. I wish we could teach Thunder, but I don't know where you get Thunder, so uh, it's obviously not the game corner, so since that uh, is straight up removed from this game, we're gonna get rid of Body Slam. Thanks, Europe, for removing the game corner from everything. And we're also going to teach... I don't know how much we'll use it, but we may as well teach it. We got it from the previous gym. We're going to go ahead and teach Calm Mind to Kyogre as well. He comes with it in uh, the original games. And, uh... No, actually, the Aqua Ring? Huh. Aqua Ring might actually be useful. So that's a recovery move. Hmm... I mean, I could literally just, if, if, if I wanted to, I could go out and, you know, do the Cascoon thing and just restore Kyogre's life with Aqua Ring. It's a thing. I could do it. Hmm. Hmm. But in general, I don't think it's necessary. Um, so we're just gonna override with Calm Mind, because I think that'll be fine. And I may actually end up have to delete Origin Pulse right away. Um, let's see, here's Surf. Um, because I do need someone with Surf. And I don't think Fly is gonna get me to the gym. Because the gym is, annoyingly enough, uh, across water. I think, though, well, I mean, we're not probably not going to use Origin Pulse in here anyway. Hmm. Let's see, I need to think about this. Because um, we also have the rule where once we teach a HM, if we delete it, it's gone. We don't can't teach it again. Um... So, Pescado is obviously the other water type we have in the party. And, let's see, he's got five Muddy Waters. So, I could just go ahead and ditch Muddy Water. That might be alright. I uh, definitely want to keep Rock Slide. We're actually out of Mud Shot, though. Uh, I'm trying to think if there's going to be maybe anything that we will need uh, Ground Attack for. Uh, I think I'm just going to teach Surf over Mud Shot since it has no PP left. Uh, and then a little bit later on, uh, it will, uh, when we run out of Origin Pulses on Kyogre, or at least get close to it, I'll just teach Surf to Kyogre. Which uh, may actually end up being sooner rather than later. We're just gonna go ahead and forget that. Once we get Waterfall, which I'm gonna assume... Uh, I didn't pick it up in there, so... I'm going to assume we're gonna get it storyline right after we beat the gym. Not exactly a big problem for us, so... Anyway, so we're now Surf on Pescado. And here we go. So next next, uh, next video, we're going to do the gym and make our way towards Victory Road. So see you guys then. Later days.